Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Into Sports Product Reviews. For the first time, we're going to be doing a comparison video. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at the classic Puma King K-Top versus the modernized Puma King 2. On the left, you can see the all black with a hint of gold Puma King K-Top. There is no boot on the market that has stood the test of time quite like the Puma King. On the right is the Puma King 2. The Puma King 2 is the most recent edition of the King Silo. Clearly, at first glance, we notice differences between these two shoes. However, they also have some similarities. So let's get down to business. So let's talk a bit about the upper. The K-Top is made of 100% kangaroo leather. You can just see how soft and supple it is. This premium leather creates a comfortable fit that requires no break in time. The leather also makes for a natural touch on the ball. The King 2 is also leather, however it is full green or as some people like to call it, calfskin leather. Still very comfortable, but requires some break in time to be as soft as the kangaroo leather of the K-Top. The outsoles of these two Kings are pretty different. The King K-Top is a polyurethane material directly molded to the upper. It consists of 12 studs, all conical in shape. This outsole is tough, great for stability, and gives optimal traction on firm ground. The King 2 is made of a P-Bax material, which is often seen on lightweight boots. This outsole also has 12 studs, but mixed between conical and bladed. Like the K-Top, the outsole offers great stability and traction on firm ground. So how much does each shoe weigh? Well, if you think the K-Top is heavier than the King 2, then you're right. The K-Top weighs in at 11.4 ounces, while the King 2 weighs in at 9.8 ounces. Nearly two ounces separate the shoes, which is pretty understandable given the weight of the premium kangaroo leather on the K-Top. The sole on the King 2 also features a lightweight heel counter, which reduces the overall weight of the shoe. Although the shoes are both Kings, they definitely don't feel or fit the same. The King 2 was made narrow while the K-Top is better for a wide foot. The King 2 is narrow through the midfoot and then it opens up again at the toe box while the K-Top maintains the same shape throughout. The K-Top holds the advantage in terms of comfort while the King 2 gives that lightweight feel on your feet. As for sizing, both shoes are made a little small, but I recommend going up half size in the King 2 and maybe you can get away with staying with the same size with the K-Top. Because of that kangaroo leather, you're definitely going to get a lot of stretching. So where on the field would you see someone wearing these Puma Kings? The K-Top can cater to a few positions. The strength and durability of the shoe suits a center back or a defensive mid. But the soft touch you get from the kangaroo leather is also great for the playmaker in midfield. The King 2 is also suitable for central midfielders, both defensive and attacking. The shoe's durability is tailored for that box-to-box -box midfielder, while the lightweight aspect is more appropriate for an attacking midfielder's duties. As for my overall thoughts, I think Puma has really showcased their quality with the King line. The classy Puma King has been around for decades. Players like Diego Maradona wore Kings back in the day. I think it's awesome that they continue to make shoes like the K-Top, which is against all of today's trends in terms of colors, lightweight, and synthetic material. With the King 2, however, they managed to incorporate today's trendy color scheme but still maintain their classic leather touch. It's a shame you don't see them on the feet of Puma athletes today, as they are all wearing evil power and evil speed. Regardless, a job well done by Puma. If you're interested in purchasing a pair of the Puma King 2 or the K-Top, visit us online or a store near you. Thanks for watching another episode of Into Sports Product Reviews. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.